Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> so I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. If you need shards, there's a salvage operation to the west looking for hunters. Jawad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley.
Looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the don't. Okay, let's see where this leads. Recent. Guess I'm not going that way. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Bristlebex. So they did come through here. before I can look around. Cauldrons could teach me how to look around these machines.
Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Looks like mine runs pretty far back. Calling gently. There's a lot of blaze down there. Here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. This needs to dress to Olvind. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Olvind must have gotten greedy. A blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Secretly blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? given way under it. Making contract. sparks fly out there? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. 
Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for them. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. I'll, uh, see you around, Petra. Until next time. Hey, Ray. Fancy a game of strike. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Uh, Nora, if you need shards, there's a salvage operation. At the embassy, Regala's rebels were riding bristlebacks. And if they attacked from the north, they might have a camp up that way. Salvagers I met in Baronite. Looks like something's going on. Machines. I need to find a way to get in there. I could scan the area to see what I'm up against. And tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them. What was that? Better check it out. tree finally decided to fall. Why did we have to stay behind to guard tame machines? We should be out there fighting. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. But Gala will run us through if we lose any more. It wasn't our fault. The ground opened up out of nowhere. Huh. See if she cares for that excuse.
Tara will be too. Not that many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. A drawbridge. Might be my way across. That's one half of the bridge. How to drop the other side? There. Bridge is down. That bristleback. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Wings holding up?
So, you've returned from the West. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakhth rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the Bristlebacks, it's Ulfant. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Ulfant here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. Not to mention, you sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate refugees over some salvage. Should have been mine. Ugh, that steel is already struck. Get over it. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Down with all that! <laughs> 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 Me. Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Well, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. About time he went crawling back to whatever damp hole he came from. Hmm. Here you're the rowdy spark we should be thanking for kicking Olvind out of the forge. Petra mentioned you were trouble, and trouble's always welcome at my shop. Take a look. Won't find weapons like these anywhere in the dark. <laughs> 
Guaranteed. See you when I see you, Red. Maybe this guy will fix my lucky hammer by then. Maybe it'll stop breaking, too. Rest easy, everyone. This is our home now. Bokasha, how have you been? Better now, Aloy. When we laid Savohar to rest, I prayed and prayed. I wanted guidance so badly. A way forward. A new home for our people. But no vision came. So what did you do? At first, I felt despair. But then it occurred to me. Maybe I saw no vision because the answer was right before my eyes. Maybe the twilight path led us right where we are supposed to be. Maybe our new home is here. Petra has been kind to us, given us food, found us work. Some are even helping with her forge. I'm glad you found your place, Lakasha. Chain scrape is no paradise, but it is enough. What about you, Aloy? Have you found your place? I am. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure I have one. Sounds like you need a beacon. I hope you find it. And your home. <laughs>